as you can see the mileometer is flashing you get these error messages start stop unavailable uh, fuel cut off unavailable etc. send your airbag ECU is out now uh, moment of truth time always the best bit today's little subject is Fiat 500 very very simple problem so if we uh, put the key in and start her up what you'll notice is the mileometer will be flashing in a second you get these error messages start stop unavailable uh, fuel cut off unavailable etc um, the lights aren't shimmering like that it's because of the camera picking it up but we can see that the um, seat belt light is on airbag lights exclamation marks skiddy lights um, that's just the handbrake light that one so i think that one's not to do with it but as you can see the mileometer is flashing so uh, what we're going to do we're going to do a full scan with the good old autel Read the VIN number. Going to do a full scan. It's going to check all these units out for fault codes and we're going to see what we got. Okay, straight away we can see that the airbag control module is not communicating. We've got faults in these units there we go so straight away we can see we've got fault codes in these units now um, Fiat's acronym for airbags is ORC um, occupant restraint so no comms with that unit in the other modules let's see what fault codes we've got um, check configuration fails ECM FPS failure and the one we're interested in is SDM, no comms. So U for communication, it's active. We've got no comms with that. Uh, we can try and uh, erase the trouble codes and you can see they won't erase because straight away it's gonna register that the uh, airbag is not communicating. So that's the same. Uh, let's go back and see what other codes we got. Engine control module. Uh, fire prevention system that's also that comes from the airbag unit so we're going to hope that uh, whoops read I meant to press clear we're going to hope that that one clears as well when we've uh, done the airbag module still in there so let's go back instrument cluster IPC I'll have a look in there SDM airbag module. They call it SDM there, but they call it something else on the topology. So it's S SDM in my language, and uh, they call it an, an ORC on your scanner. So if you see your ORC or your SDM or airbag is not communicating, it's because the airbag module has failed. Um, common problem, uh, let's say it leads to uh, a flashing mileometer, uh, airbag lights on, um, seatbelt warning light on, um, the other the other modules on start stop unavailable fuel cut off unavailable um, and a flashing mileometer is the standard one um, you can check the fuses first or you can send it to us and we'll do a repair if you need to get it out I'm gonna show you how to get these out you have to go on the passenger side and it's located underneath the center console you can see the airbag unit is located here. That's this unit here. It's held in with three 10 millimeter screws. One here, one there, and one which is tucked away down this corner, which I've got the ratchet on at the moment. If you can see it's there. And it is easier to get it from this side rather than the other side. Can't get your fingers in the other side, so I'll be getting them out, and then uh, then we'll see about getting the plugs off. So the last screw is now coming out, which is now out. 
and the airbag is loose to simply pull this way and you can see you've got the two multi plugs on the top and uh, what you'll see on here are the two green ratchet levers and they have little locking tabs on them they need to be pushed down and then the ratchet levers come over and they come out if you get a better clearer view on that one there's the little locking tab you have to pull that down ratchet lever comes over and your airbag ECU is out now what you need to do is get it fixed or fix it and I'm going to show you how next step simply log on to ecuconnection.co.uk where you can find a vast selection of programming services for most makes and models of vehicles we also stock thousands of ecus and control modules for sale in our ecu shop ready for immediate europe-wide delivery simply click on the ecu shop tab at the top of the page to purchase a component or click on the services tab to select a service using our easy to use filters on the left hand side alternatively if you have the part number you can use the search box at the top left hand side of the page Select your service from the results and then choose the service that you require from the drop down menu. For example, today we are looking for a no comms repair on a Fiat 500 airbag ECU. Add it to the basket and complete your order. Then all you have to do is to send us your ECU for repair and it will be sent back to you repaired and tested within just a few days. And just like that, the airbag ECU is back. Refitting is reversal of removal. So, first thing to do is to get the two plugs in. I should just mention that when you do this, you must have the ignition off very important not to do this with the ignition on you can remove the battery but the best thing to do in my opinion is just have the ignition off and on a safe be on the safe side just remove the key take it out so uh, we don't want airbags popping off because if you give these a clout or flip them upside down with the ignition on you can set airbags off and pre-tensioners so just be careful right Gonna line these screws up and pop them in. We're gonna get these in and then give it a test. This is what I'm using to uh, uh, 
um, remove and refit with. It's just a small 3.8 drive ratchet. This one's a wobble head. You can do it without. Um, long socket, not a full length one. Um, short one's a little bit too short to get in. We're now going to do the last bolts up. We've got them in, we've just got to nip them down. So that one's tight. That one's tight. And don't forget the one at the back. Really try and show you where that is, just so, so you can find it. Uh, if you wobble the socket about and uh, get it on there, you'll feel when it's on the on the bolt. And uh, ooh, it's so much easier to do this two-handed and not hold the light and a phone at the same time. But there, I'm on it there, and there we're going to nip it down, and that'll be done. If uh, if this video has helped you out finding that bolt smash that like button because um, I'm not paid for doing my videos but the likes are nice subscribe as well and then uh, anything else comes up that you might be interested in you'll be able to know how to do stuff right that's done let's give it a test ah, moment of truth time always the best bit so key's gonna go in the ignition and we're gonna see what happens with the ignition on First thing we notice is now we have the mileage not flashing. We don't have the error messages, fuel available, cutoffs, etc. The airbag light, well, the passenger airbag light is switched to the on. So let's just try that ignition again. You'll see the airbag light should go out. It does. And these other lights, which were on earlier, they've all gone out. Next thing to do, as always, is to go over to our faithful scanner clear any fault codes out. So uh, let's hook up the old Autel. Straight in. Right, we're going to do a full scan with the topology function with the Autel. We're going to see which control units are left with errors and which ones are clear and see if they'll all clear out. Right. That's the full scan done. We're going to check in your engine control module. Check for trouble codes. We're going to erase this one now. Good, that one's cleared. Come out of ECM. She's clear. Body control module. Three fault codes. Let's see if they all clear. Or if there's anything lingering which is nothing to do with the airbag. Well, they've all cleared. All of them gone. Lovely. So I'm going to go out of body control module. Does another little scan when you come out. Instrument cluster. Erase the codes. Good. All gone. Now, here's the good one. We now have the ORC, which we've worked out is airbag, SDM. And we now have comms with it. It's seen that it's there. Trouble codes. Now, don't worry if there's loads of trouble codes like this in it because it happens during the test because we have nothing connected to it. But the important part is we need to clear the codes and it's got to come back clear at this point. Bingo, we have no fault codes. So we should now see on the topology, it'll scan across again and fingers crossed it'll be green. Bingo. Now, Time to start her up. Now the uh, last remaining warning lights are, uh, well the light switch are on. Um, seat belt which uh, is the occupancy sensor which now should work. So we're just going to plug the seat belt occupancy in and make sure that works. That's gone out and the handbrake light obviously that'll go out. Now the last one is this passenger airbag light. Now that's on because of the setting 
of the airbag, and I'll show you how to, how to do that. So we go ignition off, and then we put ignition on, and these menus here, we have to click on menu, click up until we find passenger airbag, and then we have to OK it. Now we're going to switch it on now. We're going to confirm it as yes. And once we've confirmed it, passenger airbag light goes out because it's now switched to the on position, whereas it was defaulted to the off position. Exit the menu. And one more time, we should now have a clean bill of health. Perfect. Airbags now work as they are. No error messages, no flashing myelometer. If you found this video helpful, please click on the like and the subscribe button. It really helps me out if you do, so I know people are liking what I'm doing. If you want to get your airbag module fixed, send it to us, ecuconnection.co.uk. Thanks, guys. Another successful repair.